So we were out on the dunes with my friend and his trusty or semi-trusty or crusty Ford F-150 pickup truck, and he suffered a broken front drive shaft looking like this. So we wanted to see if we could secure it enough to be able to drive back to the campsite under our own power. You don't want to have to bring a tow truck out in the dunes. And so we came up with this zip tie and wire solution, uh, wiring up the back part of the drive shaft that connects to the transfer case so that it can't drag on the ground. It's not going to turn if you put it in two wheel drive mode, so do that. And then on the front, there's a little stub that we tried to isolate so it wouldn't whack around and bang into things. So we were actually able to get it back to camp with the little tow help up the big hills and uh, even drove it at 45 miles an hour on the street without any whacking. But then the next day it started whacking a lot. I was really impressed at how skinny this drive shaft is and how easily it just twists off and how thin the metal is. I mean, it's particularly weak. If they ever ban plastic drinking straws in California, you won't be able to drive a Ford F-150. If you break down next to a 7-Eleven, you can go in there and buy some Red Vines or Twizzlers and just swap that in for the drive shaft that you broke because it's about the same strength and it's about the same size. I don't know why they put such a, a weak drive shaft in front of these, but anyway, I know what you're saying. I watched this video because I'm a Ford guy and I wanted help and you're just bagging on Fords. That's right. Silverado all the way, baby. You should never, ever buy one of these trucks. But if you do, I hope this video helps you a little bit. And then you can uh, at least drive your Ford under its own power to the Chevy dealer and pick up a real truck. And here's how we got it home. We put a Jeep on the front of it with a strap. Um, we captured it all from the comfort of a uh, Chevrolet truck, of course. And with the Ford in two-wheel drive mode and the Jeep uh, giving him some assist on the big hills until we got out to the Sand Highway, we made it most of the way home, though the guy in the Jeep likes to take the hard way, uh, the steepest, hardest way every time. So there were a few stuck moments, a few scary moments, and a little bit of sand digging, but we managed to get home.